Today I'm going to start with some neutrals. I've been on vacation for a couple of weeks, and while I was gone, I uh, peruse Instagram and go through magazines and look at Pinterest and just think about colors and uh, just while I was doing that, um, you know, as I glance through things, I'm thinking about like what colors are, are calling to me. And uh, I saw several things that were orange and grays together. And I love that combination. So today I'm going to start with a bunch of neutrals. I've just picked out a bunch of Waverly, some Blick, just some craft paints, um, just in some neutrals, and I can always whiten them down to make them even more neutral. So that's what I'm going to start with today. And first, I'm going to take my white pasta. I'm also going to use white and black and just put some marks. You, can you can't even see them, but maybe they'll show up at some point uh, when I put something else on top of them. So I'm just going to start like that. And the next thing I'm going to do is take my um, palette knife here and just pick a neutral. And just like we've done before, I'm just going to throw some here, here. Doesn't matter if it goes out of the line. Um, let's see, there, there. I'll put a little bit there. I'm not thinking a whole lot right now. Just like I said, I'm going to think about neutrals and just a little bit there and maybe a little bit there and here and here. All right. Just a little start there. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is take a piece of saran wrap. You know, I'm always just thinking about how to get marks, different marks on here. And so I'm just going to take a little bit of this. I'm going to take some white paint and I'm going to write like I'm just uh, um, doing a little bit of cursive writing. And again, this is not going to show up that much, but I'm just going to, oh, it showed up on that. So I'm just kind of swirling it on there and then and then pressing it on here and there. Just making a mark. And again, like I said, today is going to be neutrals um, to start with. I can scrape. Um, so that's a very subtle start. I think I'm going to take a, um, let's see, do I have any, I have this bowl of gelatos. I'm trying to see what would be neutral. Maybe this yellow. It's just a real pale yellow, and I'll just put maybe a line there, one there, two here, three there, some dots, and a circle. All right, just not thinking, moving quick. Um, let's see here. I think the next thing I'm going to do, I've done this before, is use my credit card. And, well, this is just an old uh, card that's not good anymore. And I'm going to use some raw sienna and just... Get it on the edge of my card and just do like this. This way. This way. Um, add some more paint out. Like I said, staying very neutral. Let's see, let me use the shorter edge. Let me just make these little lines. You can, um, you can make all kind of patterns with the edge of a card like this. I'm going to go this way and then that way. I'm trying to get more paint on here. Let's see here. Let me 
maybe if I put it directly on like that. Yeah, I think that works better. I'll just put a swatch on there. And just moving this around. Like I said, I'm just thinking neutrals. Let's see what else can I do. Um, I got this Waverly ballet slipper. It's just kind of a very neutral pink. I might add just a little bit of white to it to make it even more neutral. I'll put some dots there. There, there. There, let's see here. Maybe some stripes there. And some right there. Just moving quick. Um, I had already picked out the neutrals, so, or just, um, Grabbed a bunch. Okay. And now, um, let's see. What else? I think I'm going to take, we haven't done this before, just some masking tape. And I'm just going to stick a little piece here and there. Just going to tear it like that. Stick a piece right on the edge there. Different sizes, I'll do one right here. Um, I'll do one right up here. I'll do a longer piece right there. Maybe a piece there and um, there. Yeah, masking tape's cool because you can see through it, but it just uh, it's just another way to add a little bit of texture and just another element. And I have an ink tense block here. It's just kind of an ochre yellow. And wherever I added that, I'm just going to, like that one, I'm going to do a circle. This one, I'm just going to do some stripes. Let's see, where is this one? I can barely tell. I'll just do some stripes on that one. This one's here. I'll do those going this way. That one's right there. I'll do another circle. I'll do three circles on this one. Okay. Just a little bit of something else. Another way to make a mark and add something to your paper. Okay. So... A lot of this, as normal, will get covered up. Oh, look, I can wet these and then use, uh, use the ink tints that's left on there to make a few marks somewhere else. I love that. Let's see. I think we went this way. Now we did a circle here. Add a few marks there. Let's see, we did stripes here, and then I can add a stripe down there. Yeah, so I can move that around. All right, so that is a beginning, and it's just a few um, prompts that I kind of set up, and just did it randomly. So now to decide what to put on it. And again, like I said, I'm thinking um, I want to concentrate on orange. I'm going to take some of this Spice Pumpkin. I like using up my craft paints on these quick little demos. And I'm going to take some um, Folk Art Pink Rose. And I'm going to mix those with some well, I'm going to mix them, and I might add just a touch of white. And then I want a dark gray. Let me see what a good dark gray would be. 
I've got this new um, Waverly paint. This is Night Sky, and I might mix it with a little bit of black. Let me see if I can find my black without taking too much time because I want a nice dark gray. I can always lighten it too. So, like I said, I'm gonna think in orange and gray. I don't know, for some reason they were just, everything I saw in those colors this week I like. So, I am going to, uh, I, I gotta decide what I'm gonna put on here. And I think as normal, I like to do just really simple drawings and sketches. And one thing I was working on this week is just pottery, just plain pot, just really quick um, cups, bowls, uh, vases, just um, something I can sketch really quick. Another thing I wanted to do, and I have done this before, but I always think it looks really cool, is um, to take this stamp with this uh, cursive writing and just stick some of that in here too. I think that looks so cool. I'm just gonna stick it here and there, just really quickly, one more element. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my um, sketch and I'm just gonna throw some pottery in here really quickly. So let's see here. Let's just do, let's just do, a, uh, and this is my Stabilo. I'm drawing with my Stabilo. I'm just gonna do a quick pot here and maybe a tall one like behind it right here. Alrighty. Um, this one would be cool. I like those uh, vases that have kind of a, uh, like that, and then they're just kind of wonky. They're like homemade pottery. That's what, I collect homemade pottery. And um, a lot of times I'm at, if I'm at the thrift store or something, I just love a piece that's kind of wonky and homemade. Um, let's see, what else would be good? We could do sort of a um, a cup here. Let's see, we'll do a, let's do a opening here. Again, these are super quick and I'll just come around like this and put a handle very wonky handle and maybe a cup kind of like behind here all right and let's do one with just we'll do an opening and just do a big bowl and uh we could do kind of a, a different angle we could do, um, this is kind of a cup looking down into it. So I'll do the opening. I do the little cup shape, a big, a saucer and a handle. And one more, um, let's just do, just do, I'll do three tall vases. I'll do one here, or just like little vessels, one. I'll do this one a little higher up. It's kind of behind that one. And then we'll have just a small one over here. All right, so you see how quickly I did those. That was, um, did not take any drawing skill, just uh, very quickly. I'm just going to put a Kind of a table behind each one. That one's up high. These are down lower. We do this one right there. Do this one here. And uh, I like that one right 
there just very quickly. Okay, now I'm going to take my matte medium. And again, as I have done many times, I'm going to use my matte medium to activate that Stabilo because it'll make it, um, it'll really make it dark but it will also allow me to like do a little bit of a, just, it'll seal it in somewhat and then I can take some of what I've got and just kind of make a shadow. All right. Uh, let's do this one. Like I said, sometimes the wonkier the better if you just, and they're fun. I mean, it's just fun to draw, um, let me hit the background while I'm doing. Fun to draw quick and not be worrying about doing a perfect, perfect drawing. The more perfect I try to make it, the worse it gets, to be honest. Um, all right, so I like, I actually like those just like that. I mean, I could leave that and I think they're really cool with the different things but my idea this week was to um, do the, or the orange and the gray so let's just go ahead and do it it's going to cover up all this really cool stuff we did but at this point um, you know you saw how quick I've done this. I've been working 15 minutes and I've got something really cool. I could leave it just like that. And I could do these over and over and just, or I could do them for a, you know, real painting. I mean, how cool would that be in a bigger piece on um, a canvas in your kitchen? I love that with the little pink dots and stuff. But since my plan was to go orange i'm gonna do that i'm gonna take an orange might totally mess them up but we're just gonna go for it and uh i could leave some of the stuff behind but i think i'll just um i think i'll just throw it in this is orange i'm just gonna very quickly Ooh, that's real orange i think what i'm gonna do is take uh some raw sienna and mix with that to kind of knock that down just a hair so it's not like pumpkin orange okay I like that orange it's more of a neutral orange and I'm just going to quickly throw this in here now the cool thing is you'll you will be able to see some of what's in the back it's gonna change the color and I'm not being real careful of course I'm you know going around my drawing but it's okay if it leaves a little white or just a little this and that. I'm just quickly throwing that in. Now that definitely makes that cup stand out more. So that's that's kind of what I had in mind. And I'm going to do them all like this. I think I'm going to get a bigger brush that um, because I want to just throw this orange in here quickly. So let's see. I'm going to add a little more raw sienna and make this in a little bit of white so that it's a little toned down i like that color and i'm just gonna one two let's see how how few strokes can i put this in with because that's what i'm trying to do just oh and look how this stuff shows there's the uh, masking tape it's making a little bit of a um texture and Different stuff is showing through. I love that. So I'm just going to continue. I'm just going to go around. Like I said, I was looking through stuff and, and I would see orange and gray. And I hadn't, I don't think I've done anything in those colors. Oh, I love that. Just a thin wash. So that's a lot thinner wash than this. So you can just kind of... Um, Quickly, I'm just going to add these really quickly. I might just leave that where it didn't cover fully. That's okay. I can go in this way, that way. Well, I hit it, but that's okay. Um, 
Again, the more water, the thinner the wash. This has got a low horizon. I'm just seeing how these will turn out. Very cool. Oops. See, that was a lot thicker. I'm going to put a lot more water on my brush and do like this. And uh, just like I said, the, the fewer strokes, the better. And one more. Let's see. My horizon line or my table line is up here. Just gonna quickly, it's dripping a little bit, that's okay. Yeah, I like the stuff showing through. I mean, you don't know if it's a shadow or what, but that's really cool with the neutrals and the, um, the Stabilo and the stuff I put underneath uh, is making designs on the pottery that, you know, I couldn't plan really. Um, other than that, just doing it very random. If I tried to plan it, it would look planned. It would look, um, because I do that sometimes. I'm set out to draw and, you know, I'll put three dots on something and it looks kind of contrived. I think this, for me, I'm learning is a better way to do it because it just looks so random. So, I'm going to mix a little bit of the gray with that night sky. I want it kind of dark. You know, I could do the bottoms white. That would be cool too. But again, my thought for this week was the orange and gray. So just like before, I'm just going to throw this on very quickly. just like that, and I could take uh, a wet tissue and just pull out maybe a little bit right there for uh, a shadow, but see, I love that. I think that looks so cool, and again, I could do, you know, if, if say I wanted to do blue and yellow, I, I could do it so quickly, do another one. Um, I'm just putting a thin wash what I could also do is purposefully leave just a little shadow there, a little light shadow, and then I could uh, put darker under the bowl to kind of uh, do like that, kind of ground the bowl. Yeah. Isn't that pretty with the orange against the pink and the yellow and the gray really makes everything pop? All right, I'm just, I'm gonna do all of these like this. This is a little bit darker. Again, I'm trying to get a, do it very quickly. Just go in different directions, it doesn't matter. That's kind of cool with the different, I love that. Again, we'll do it right down here. You could do it so many ways and you can do it fast and just see, you know, try different colors. I love that green right there, but I'm going to go over it with a very thin wash. Just like that. Pretty. And again, and like I said, I love the writing in that pot. It's just kind of a interesting, um, interesting pottery. It all looks homemade. It all looks a little wonky. Um, I love how the background colors showed up and, you know, I could do more. I could add some stripes or I could, but I love it just like that. And, um, we started with the neutrals. We just did some dots. We used a credit card. We threw some masking tape on there. Um, used all kinds of things, a little gelato, and quickly drew the pottery. I mean, it, so that's an easy thing to draw. And then I used orange and gray. You could use any colors you want, but that was super fun. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and please leave me some comments or questions, and thank you for watching.